Hi, in, in this tutorial I will show how to use BlueArp in main stage on Mac with uh, some stock and freeware plugins to create a ranger like guitar performances uh, like this one. I have two instruments here. The first one is called uh, Monster Guitar, a freeware plugin. I'll explain a bit later. And the second one is just the stock sampler with the electric guitar sound. The first one, it sounds like this. It creates uh, this power chord sequence together with these two blue arps. And um, it doesn't depend on the chord octave or inversion, it just takes the root note from the pressed chord. Blue Arp takes care of this and um, generates the sequence. So, in this case, I'm pressing C major, inverted C major, another inversion of C major, one octave higher. Invert it, the output is still the same, so only the root note matters here. And now D minor, D major, all the same again, because only the root note D is important in this case. And uh, let's take a closer look uh, how it works. I muted everything except this Monster Guitar plugin. This is freeware plugin, you can download it from here. I'll leave a link in the description. And I'm using one particular preset which is called Power Puff Boys, preset number four in chord mode folder. The tricky thing about this plugin is that it uses ranges on the keyboard. One range, as they say, is for the chord tonic. It's from C2 to B2, and I marked it with a white tape for the sake of demonstration. Uh, and when I press it, uh, it indicates that I have different tonic, but it doesn't make any sound. Because to make a sound, I need to press the strumming key, so to speak. So, this is my muted power chord, and this is my open power chord. Despite the fact that it says uh, that minor in major, it can be minor in major, but for this particular preset, th they say that major and minor use the same power chord. And this is exactly what we need for this demonstration, because distortion guitar minor and major chord doesn't kind of sound, sound nice in the low register, as I remember. It's preferable to use power chords. Except these two keys I marked with black, and we use only these two keys uh, in our demonstration, in, in, in the pattern. But they also have um, kind of what they call normal strum C4, E4, and here on the right, probably you can see, but these are C5, E5, the short strum. But I'll use only these two ones, C3 and E3. And the way you play it without the RPG data, without blue up, is that with the left hand you set the tonic and with the right hand you play the pattern. And I want to get something like this. Apparently, I can't play these notes without the gaps. Uh, but one side note is that I don't have to hold this key all the time. Once I press A, it remembers it. And it will keep playing the last tonic key I pressed. And if I press somewhere here, it doesn't make any difference. Only within this range we should provide the tonic key. And now the tricky thing is that I have to use two blue arps to mimic this kind of pattern. The first blue arp will detect the chord that I 
press, convert it into the root key, and fit that root key into this particular range. And the second blurb will play, will play this strumming pattern. So let's check it. Uh, first, I will unmute the first blurb. Uh, this is it. I'm using MIDI through Dummy Factory program number three. Um, number of steps should be changed to one. Uh, it's a special mode called quantized through. We see this message here. Step type should be normal and key select should be RT, which means root, root key of the detected chord. And the important thing is that output range wrap should be C2, B2, from C2 to B2, the exact same range we need for the monster guitar to provide the tonic key. And let's check how it works. Input keys pre-filter and note output. So I'm pressing C major chord, C2 at the output, C2 is this key within our white range for the monster guitar. Inverted C major, still C2 at the output, another inversion of C major, still C2, another inversion of C major, and whatever inversion of C major at uh, whatever octave, I, I still have C2 at the output. And this is the expected behavior. If I, for example, play either D major or D minor, I'll have D2. This note within this range we need for the monster guitar. So this was my first instance of Blue Arp. And the second instance of Blue Arp, it will uh, generate this strumming pattern, our black notes. Uh, to do this, I'm uh, switching Blue Arp to step sequence mode by setting all the steps to key select fixed. Uh, fix uh, means fixed. It will take the key from this fixed key setting. So it will be C3 for all the steps, except these steps where we have scale step plus four. It means plus four semitones. So basically, uh, C3, our fixed key, plus four semitones, C3, one, two, three, four semitones up, E3. So uh, here we have C3, C3, E3, C3, C3, E3, and so on. And the tricky thing here is that we also need to pass through our root key from the previous instance of Blue Arp. So we, we have to tell this blurb to pass through the input notes. And to do this, we have to switch this MIDI through mode to all channels. The default setting was disabled. And when we are in disabled, we have the pattern, but it doesn't respect the chord that I press. And once I switch it to all chains, our root key from, from the previous blue arp is passing through and it reacts to the chord I play and to the inverted chords as well. So now it's C major inverted and if I press just C or C major inverted or C minor inverted Oh, sorry, it was the wrong chord. This one is C minor inverted. Still C, C at the output. So this is the way it works. And let's check, let's check another instrument. This is our sampler, just warm electric guitar sound. This is the stock plugin for the main stage. Uh, and our Blue Arp, it has pretty simple up sequence, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, the only a bit tricky thing is that our pledge should be set to latch plus sustain. Recently added uh, option made specifically for the guitar pickup arpeggios. It kind of sustains the output notes 
to make this arpeggio sounds more natural. And here the inverted chord will stay inverted. So this is C major inverted and this is another inversion of C major. And together, uh, together with this um, uh, power chord sequence, it uh, creates this interesting effect because uh, power chords do not uh, do not depend on the chord inversions, and this guitar pickup they do depend on chord inversions. So it it adds some extra var variety. So. This is how they sound together. This is C major. This is C major inverted. And one thing is that it keeps playing because latch plus sustain means that <coughs> the input core is latched. But once I press stop, it stops playing. And even if it's in fake playback, I have to press, press play then stop and it will stop playing. So this is the trick to stop all the sounds from Blue, Blue Arp. And <coughs> now, now I want to play a chord uh, progression from one very famous track. I wonder if you can guess the track, please let me know in the comments. It's not the exact replication, just the same chord sequence and kind of a bit alike pattern, but not exactly the same. So let's play it. C major inverted. E major, F major, F minor, and also you can make it way more complicated uh, if you need, because with Blorp you can now uh, sequence drums this new drum sequence mode I added recently in, in version 250 somewhere in April uh, to 2024 and you can add bass and you name it so you can have the full-blown performance in main stage using Blue Arp. So yeah, this is it. Uh, probably later I'll make uh, a more complicated performance in main stage with just Blue Arp and stock and freeware plugins. Uh, and this is it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Have fun with Blue Arp. Stay tuned and see you next time.